2.3 seconds left. Dylan Moore heads to the line, down one with three chances to tie or win the game. One, two, three. Megs wins 74-72. What a game, Hardwood Nation. I'm your Megs reporter, Jordan Gallagher. And heading into the fourth quarter, Megs was down 51-56, and they really had trouble closing that gap. Four minutes left, Megs was down 66-60, and it looked like they might have fallen out of the game when starter Jared Kennedy fouled out. But the opposite happened as Luke Musser hit a three to bring the score to 66-63 to get Megs going. And then on the opposite end of the floor, after playing a 3-2 all game, Megs decided to switch it up and they ran a 1-3-1. You know, earlier in that game, Warren had been able to hit their star Kyler Dennis on the outside and he hit many, many threes with that 3-2 zone. But that 1-3 run, they really stopped him and that was key throughout their drive to finish this game. Then it was Colton Lilly who stepped up next, knocking down a tray with 2.15 left to tie the game at 66. Then down three again, another Marauder stepped up. And who else but Caleb Sheets. He ties the game at 71. And after a free throw from Warren put the score at 72-71, the craziness ensued. Dylan Mark goes for the three, he misses, but he's fouled. And I said it earlier, we know what happens. He drains all three free throws to seal the 74-72 victory for Megs. After the game, Marr was asked if it was fair to call him Mr. Glutch, and he responded, I don't know if that's what they're calling me, but I just hope I can live up to that nickname. And I sure believe he did tonight with those big threes. But you know, he wasn't the only star for Megs tonight. You know who else stepped up? It was Caleb Sheets. He had another big night, 20 points and 11 assists. And Colton Lilly, he had a game of his own, 18 points and four assists. Talking to the team and Coach Ed Fry after the game, this victory over Warren means a lot to them, but they still have more to look forward to. Megs will look to improve to 3-0 next Tuesday when they face the Wellston Rockets. For Hardwood Heroes, I'm Jordan Gallagher, reminding you to be heroic.